So I'm going to go ahead and switch now to show you guys uh, some of the, uh, the app. So I'm going to pop the audio here as well. So here is the app, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time just showing you some of the sound. So as you tap, notice that the music changes ever so slightly. So the subtlety really adds a nice cinematic feel. So it's a combination of sort of music, sound effects, and using them really intentionally. Let's look at the animation next. And so here, as you see, we're introducing one panel at a time. And it's very intentional, it's paced, uh, but it only goes as fast as you tap forward. I'm sort of speeding through it here. You can hear certain sound effects will come in and add sort of punctuation on top of an ambient uh, sound in the background. It's a very subtle approach to creating a cinematic reading experience, so to speak. We really want the, uh, the words to come forward and the sound to sort of support that and the motion to support that. And so it's not really about overwhelming it with too much motion and too much sound. We talked about Ajax being built in a game engine, and it's very hard to tell, but at the very end here, as the paper sort of rolls off the screen, you can see that it's actually 3D objects. There they are rotating ever so slightly. So we didn't push that much in the app, but there is an opportunity to do that, I think, going forward. And as we mentioned before, there's uh, supplemental content throughout the book. And what you'll see here is that you can actually find supplemental content right on the page in certain moments. And so here, a star is going to pop up right at the end of this typewriter section. And if you tap on it, you see supplemental content pops up right on the page to give you that sort of departure, that tune drill down, so to speak, where you get to go check out uh, certain extra pieces of information while reading. There's a roster as well. We changed character artists every chapter, so we wanted to refresh your memory of who the main people were, and so you can just call this up quickly to find out who the Shah was, or who Ayatollah Kashani was, or Mossadegh. And my hope is that with this, it really uh, keeps the reader informed. So next we're going to show you a departure into the files section. And so there's this narrator who's this main character, so to speak, this nameless narrator. And he's an old CIA operative who's reflecting on his life. And here we have him actually pulling the Ajax files off of a bookshelf and looking at them. And what's so cool is that you can actually explore these files in a first-person view as if you were him. And so this is our way of weaving that right into the narrative. If you actually tap in the center of the screen, pull up the menus and hit the file section, top right corner, up pops this portrait version of the app. And inside of that you can see dossiers on each of the main characters. And so here's one on Churchill. And I thought this was a really cool way to bring history into the app in a way that was sort of a nice departure. It's almost like a, a transmedia experience all self-contained, right? So, you know, this is um, one section of the app designed entirely to just show you supplemental information in a really cool and engaging way as if you were the narrator uh, looking through these files yourself. And there's a pretty wide cast here of characters. So, you know, we have all these Iranians, you know, the Shah, for example. And I thought this was a great way to just add background information um, that was engaging, interactive, that would make people curious, but without overwhelming them. And it was a real challenge to make sure that we didn't put too much text in, because it was very easy to just copy and paste in many, many lines of, uh, of text into the app. Here's uh, Truman. So again, you can browse these photos. These are all Wikimedia Commons. We were really lucky in being able to uh, find content we could use uh, without having to license, uh, license it. So this is cool. This folder has actual declassified CAA documents in it. This is the original Q plan that was declassified in 2000. And I don't know how well you can see it in the video here, but there's a Photoshop background into these to make them look a little more uh, interesting. Because <laughs> they're black and white mimeographed uh, scans, they're pretty ugly. So we uh, put in a paper background to make them look a little sexier. But this is the actual coup plan. It's eight pages long and it talks about how to overthrow Iran's government. Uh, we also have an assessment of the Iranian situation. This was released internally right after the coup was foiled the first time. And so it's cool to see actual documents uh, that talk about this stuff. And of course, the newsreels, uh, we won't open those now but gives you an idea of what's contained inside. So again, there's Redacted's office, right? And those were the files that were actually being explored, and that's what it looks like in the comic. I'm going to fast forward now to a session of the Red Scare. 
So this just kind of showcases some of our best animation and uh, sound. This is a really cool two-page spread. Tyler kind of indulged that one a little bit. And so what's cool is after this we depart right into uh, newsreel footage and you can sort of see how it ties together into the app. So this is Eisenhower getting elected. It was election year in America and Adlai Stevenson, former governor of Illinois, became the standard bearer of an enthusiastic Democratic Party at its Chicago convention. A short time later the Republican convention met at San Francisco and made short work of its nomination. Their choice by acclamation was President Eisenhower. As returns rolled in on election night, this is really cool. It was a landslide for the Eisenhower Nixon ticket. Let's check out Eisenhower's arms at the end here. He does this sort of double victory raise, right? And then on the next page of the comic, we go right into him in the same pose. And I thought that was really cool, the way of weaving those two things together.